now. Avery, uh, back on it today after after a day off yesterday. How did it feel to? How, how, how nice was it to get the day off? It was yeah, it was pretty nice. You, I think you feel a bit fresher if you have the day off, and it's nice to get on grass again. I definitely like that a little better. Have you been able to come down a bit after the the drama of the Ghana game of, of qualifying, and and how do you look going forward? Yeah, I think we're just excited for the future. You know, we know we've come really far already, so hopefully that's gonna prepare us for the next game because I think we've played some really tough teams already so hopefully we're ready. What, what does it mean to you as, as, as an individual and a team that, that you guys really got out of the toughest group here essentially? Yeah I think it just shows like we were able to show everything that we're about. We definitely showed a lot of resilience in that Ghana game. The team really stuck together you know to play 10 men down for that long. That takes a lot of unity and it was really good. And one thing I'm wondering is uh, at the under-17 level, you guys are still technically in school. How do you how do you match that up with playing right now? Uh, I think you just have to be really tough on yourself because the teachers aren't always going to look after you, so you got to do a lot of emailing back and forth and just take responsibility for yourself because I know a lot of us you know, really strive to do well in school too, so it's important to kind of try to keep a balance with everything. How supportive has... has your, your classmates and your teachers been with with you being away here for so long? Oh, well, everybody's really great. You know, at my school we even have a program for students who are going to spend a bit of time away with sports, so everybody's really helpful and you get all your stuff before you go, so it's it's great. You don't have to worry so much. When do you find time during the day to, to get everything done? Um, usually the morning's best because you lose a bit of motivation by the afternoon, but an hour or two every day is that would be good to get in, I guess. And now when you're you're in the knockout rounds of a World Cup, focusing on a game ahead and, and, and studies as well, is it is it hard to, to keep a balance? Yeah, it's definitely hard to get your head in schoolwork if that's what you're trying to do. But, you know, I think I tried to get as much as I could done early because I knew that if we go a little farther, you're going to have to focus a bit more on the soccer. And so I think if we can get a bit more school in, that'd be good. But I think we're all doing all right. Now jumping back again to this team briefly, uh, this team always likes to talk about the resilience and their unity. Uh, you guys have had a lot of camps together, now you've been here for a while. What, what kind of relationships do you have with your teammates? I think at this point it's kind of a sibling type relationship. You know, you spend a lot of time together so you can find some things that may... You see the good and the bad in everybody, but I think it just brings you that much closer. And yeah, like it's like 21 sisters, you know, it's great. Thanks a lot.